All right, so uh, what we're looking at here is a Y1 mortise cylinder, <clears throat> and this will be, I guess, a lock picking fail. Uh, this was at a vacant restaurant. There's three of these, uh, two on uh, double front doors, and then one on kind of a side door. The side door one needs to be replaced to an S1 keyway, SC1 keyway to match a key for property managers. Uh, so this is the one I wanted to get in. So I tried to pick it, couldn't pick it on site. Uh, I was able to pick one of the other doors and get in. Uh, and, you know, I, I had plenty of times I didn't want to drill it. I don't like drilling locks if I can help it. And then so I unscrew this out. I think it's disgusting on the bag. I've wiped off most of the crap that was on there. And uh, I mean, here's the can. I mean, it's just nasty. So then I brought it home here. I'm trying to uh, pick it here, and uh, I can't get it open. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shim it open, <clears throat> and then uh, see what the hell's going on with it. I don't know if it's, you know, the restaurant had been baking a while. Uh, but the other door wasn't too hard to pick, so I'm thinking that this one just may have never really been used because of where it was on the place. So I'm going to see if we can shim it open. And then um, I might actually measure the pin and just go cut a key for it for the hell of it. I mean, the key blank goes in, so the pins are moving. Cylinders aren't usually too hard to pick. You know, there's no security pins in them or anything. Except the one on the other door, and I think they might, well, I don't know. I, I would guess they're all keep the same, but I guess I, I don't know. I didn't even take the other ones apart. They weren't concerned about old people being able to get back in. They just needed a key with their kind of, what they use as a kind of master key for their properties in that shopping center that are vacant. Which is just the S1 keyway. SC1 keyways, an S1 keyway, I'm inventing keyways over here. Okay, now the shim doesn't even want to go in, so. We've got past one pin, see that's, that's uh, one pin. There's two. shimming them, you know, you're taking pins out of the equation here, which, of course, makes them, uh, easier to pick, assuming, of course, the pins are moving and the thing will actually turn. At this point, yeah, look at that, how disgusting that is. You know, some of that dry flow, but that green crap is just sludge. Gross. So, I actually don't even need a follower. Clean it all up anyway. Five drivers coming out of springs. One, two, three. Oh, I see four springs. I don't see where the fifth one went. The fifth one is jammed in chamber number two. This is so nasty. I'd like to set it down. <laughs> Picking it. Okay. 
here. And I'm actually going to take this outside and clean it with some mineral spirits or something. Before we do that, go ahead and things should have raked open really really easily you see the pins are all real close to the same length and there's no security pin so this thing shouldn't have been any big deal to pick uh, it was just a difficult lock from not being used so uh, no reason to measure these on video here but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean these up a little bit measure it clean the lock go outside and cut a key uh, and then, you know, we'll come back, put it together, and, you know, finish the video. And, um, I'm probably going to let this soak for maybe a couple hours or overnight in some mineral spirits. Try to clean it up just for just to save it or whatever. So, that'll do it for now. And, uh, I will check back in with everybody when I get back to this, um, tonight or tomorrow. Alright, well, we're back here. Got it cleaned up a little bit. Not a lot, but enough. And uh, I went ahead and measured the pins here. We had four, three, four, three, seven on the bidding. And we now have a nice smooth working key. So now let's see if we can pick it. There we go. Much, much, much easier. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, made a big difference. I don't know if the thing was almost seized up or what. You know, just this uh, stuff on the back here is actually hard and on. I actually had to scrape what I scraped off with my thumbnail. It was actually uh, hard. I don't know what the hell it is, but anyway, uh, that's that lock. That's kind of prepared to stick in my uh, box of locks. And uh, that will do it for this video. And uh, we'll talk to everybody later.